So in today's video, we are going to take a look at motion matching in UE 5.4. Motion matching is a new feature which allows you to completely replace the straight machine driven animation system. So it's a pretty cool system. I'm going to show you how to get started and set this up. Before we get started, a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. If you want to support the channel, I'm going to leave a link to my Patreon page down in the description. For those who are getting started with creating cinematics in Unreal Engine 5, I have a very cool course for you guys. Again, if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to that as well. Now let's get started with this. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need is the animations. Now you can get animations from the Lyra game project. So just go to your Epic Games Launcher and under samples, you can get this project. So just create this project right here. And we need access to the animations here. So we need all of these animations. So to do that, just select all these animations, right click and migrate these animations. Now let's launch our motion matching project. So I've set up a basic empty project, right? And this is going to be used for the motion matching thing. And as you can see, we have our animations right here. So now for motion matching, we also need to add the third person controller. Now, in order for the third person controller to work, we need to specify the game mode. So make sure that your game mode is set to the third person game mode. Now to use motion matching, you need to enable two plugins. So go to your plugins and just search for motion trajectory. We need to enable this plugin. After that, just search for post search and just enable that as well. These plugins are going to give us all the functionality required for motion matching. You'll also need to restart your engine. So after you've enabled the plugins and restarted the engine, let's go to motion matching right here and create a post search schema. So this object requires a skeleton. So just specify the Lyra skeleton and this is like using the blue skeletal mesh. So just select that. Now we are going to create another asset here under motion matching. We are going to create a database. So this is the post search database and you need to select your schema here. Now let's open the database and here you can see that we can add our animation sequences. So before we add our animations there, we need to make sure that our animations have root motion enabled. So I'm going to select all these animation clips and bulk edit them. Now in the bulk edit section, you can press control A. That's going to select everything. In the details panel, just search for root motion and enable root motion and enable force root lock as well. Now let's go back to our database and let's add our animations. So I'm going to search for jog and these are the jogging animations. So at first we are going to keep things simple. We are going to add the jog forward, jog backward, jog left and jog right. You can click on each animation to preview how it's like working with motion matching. So basically what this is doing is this is playing a suitable animation based on the trajectory and the direction of the player, right? Now let's make things more complicated. So let's add additional animations. So each animation here has a start and a stop animation as well. And these are like supporting animations. So let's add those. And finally, let's add the idle animation as well. So you can select all of them and preview this. Looks pretty good. Now in the content browser, we are going to create an animation blueprint. Here you can select your skeleton. Again, select the blue skeleton. In the animation blueprint, I'm going to add a node called motion matching. Select your animation database. Next, we are going to add a node called pose history.
And here we need to specify the trajectory. So this is something that we need to do in the third person character blueprint. I'm going to open the blueprint. I'm going to add a component called the character trajectory component. Now, while we are here, let's change the skeletal mesh. So let's change it to that blue mannequin. And let's change the animation blueprint to the motion matching animation blueprint. Back to the animation blueprint, we are going to go to the event graph. And here we need a reference to the third person character. So I'm going to cast to third person character and promote this to a variable. We are going to do this only once when the game starts, right? When the animation initializes, we don't need to do this per frame. So I'm going to add an event called like blueprint uh, initialize animation. And this happens only once when the game starts. So now we have access to the third person character. And from that, we can get access to the character trajectory component. And we can promote that to a variable. So keep one thing in mind, we need to do this per frame. So I'm going to connect that to the update animation event. And finally, back in the anim graph, you can bind this trajectory to our character trajectory. So we are getting information from the character trajectory component. Let's see if this works. So we are getting some errors here and this is pretty easy to fix. So I'm going to click on that and that's going to like take me to where the error is. We are going to solve this error by unlinking these two nodes. Again, this is something to do with the LiRa project itself. Now let's test this out. So now, as you can see, the character is using motion matching for the locomotion animations. Now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to select the character movement component and I'm going to enable the controller desired rotation first. Next search for orient to movement and I'm going to disable this. And as you can see, now we have like backward animations and stuff like that playing properly. Now, finally, to visualize our motion matching trajectory, you can use this console command. So that's about it. That is all you need to do to set up motion matching in Unreal Engine 5.4. So if you like the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. And that's it. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.